Okay, the, the thermostat is the part that we put in the cooling system in a, in a housing. It's usually in a fairly convenient spot. Uh, in your automotive applications, it's right usually on top of the engine in the front or the back. And one thing that you could tell is there's a uh, usually a large set of hoses that come to this. So the hose diameter, what I mean large on a motorcycle, is something like this that comes to the housing. So it has to be a way we have to test this. But first off, I want to talk about what this does. And this one here, it's, it's probably a good thermostat because I can actually compress and open this. Usually when they fail, here's one that's failed where it's actually broke and broke into an open position. Can you see that compared to where this seat is fully closed? And this one has got this big gap in here and, and it's not. The whole function of this and why we went from air cooled to liquid cooled is that we could control how fast the engine heats up and then have a constant temperature once it's fully heated up. And that's how we were able to make all those uh, tolerances tighter that you guys saw in your measurements. On air cooled engine, everything's looser. On a liquid cooled engine, we were able to tighten it up. We got better emissions, better power, longer life, all kinds of advantages. So what happens is the coolant goes through this housing that houses the thermostat and when the engine's cold this is closed and the coolant is only able to go through this little hole right there so as this heats up okay as this heats up and coolant goes past here what happens is this will open allowing the the full amount of coolant that's supposed to go through when the engines to operational temp this is basically an automatic temperature valve the reason that we want this to uh, stay closed is we actually want to build heat. We want the engine to heat up faster. Does that make sense? And then once we hit that set temperature, you might see uh, 220 to 230 degrees Fahrenheit is a common uh, temperature used in auto, motorcycles, it, it doesn't matter. That's a common, uh, a common uh, measurement you might see in your gauge when you're actually operating the vehicle. Does anybody have a vehicle that runs a little hotter, a little colder? What do you got? 200, okay. We can change where that engine will run by changing these. So you can get thermostats that are rated for different temperatures that will open and close at different times, or uh, I, sh I really should say open at a certain set time to be specific. So what we do is I'm gonna test this one. You can see here, it's just a little skillet, a little black decker, and I've been boiling some water here. So I have a uh, temp gun around here. I'm gonna use this. And we're trying to speed things up for class here. You wouldn't want the water boiling. So right now I'm at 212 degrees. What I would want to do is I'd want to turn this down and I would want to get this water to let's say uh, 100 degrees or 125 degrees just to kind of speed things up a little bit. And then what you do is you take and while the water isn't, you know, isn't boiling, you're either going to have a temp gun or you're going to have a... Uh, digital thermostat that's sitting in here you can have a thermometer anything you could do to measure and you're gonna walk you're just literally gonna sit here and you're gonna watch when this I'm gonna add a little more water it's been evaporating on me it's nice if you can have the thermostat fully uh, fully encased in the water careful okay and I'm going to watch to see at what temperature the thermostat actually opens. Does that make sense? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep cooking this one here. I'll put the lid on, I'll get the water boiling. Oh, it actually fully opened. Uh, let's see if you guys could see this. This is gonna go pretty quick. And so for the camera, when I lift this up, can you see how there's the big gap in there now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Usually, if the thermostat will open and close, it's just a good indication that it's a successful thermostat. But what we have is we could go to our service manual and we could take and usually see somewhere on the thermostat, it's going to have a temperature reading. This one here has been cooked so many different times, I'm not seeing the indicator. This one has it? Yep right here this means this opens at 195 degrees okay so your service manual is going to have all these specifications but this is how you would actually go in here now as hot as that water is is that guy opening up go ahead and temp grab the temp gun there and temp the water 183 yep 184 okay so it's not supposed to open until 195 right so let's let that cook a little bit and then that's how we would uh, test thermostats
Does everybody understand their function? What do racers do? Take them out, throw them away. They want that full coolant that goes across there. I know a lot of guys that do that. I don't know if everybody does that, but it was a popular deal. Uh, because what you got to think about, see if this is still hot. Nope, it's already cooled down. See how absorbent that is to heat? That thing was 200 degrees here, and I could touch it with my hand, what, a couple minutes later? The thing is, when if you look at this whole size of this, or the whole diameter, this is, uh, it, taking this whole thing out is a lot less restrictive to the coolant flow. Does that make sense? Why do you not want to do that on street bikes? Yeah, then the engine doesn't warm up. It'll stay cool. And when a bike stays cool, if it's fuel injected, it's adding more fuel. Okay, as the bike gets hotter, we get less fuel. So what would happen to your fuel economy? It would just plummet. Guys, here's the reality. On a street motorcycle, let them be the designers. We don't need to play around with this stuff. Our big goal is to make sure it's working. If we got customers who says, man, my bike never warms up. It's super cold-blooded. If it's a carbureted vehicle and they're having to leave the choke on forever, it might not be a fuel system thing. It could be the thermostats not letting the engine actually ever warm up. Does that make sense? And think about this too, if the customer hops on their bike and jumps on the interstate, it's just, it's never gonna be allowed to get the temperature. Make sense? Okay, that's a quick test on how we test thermostats. Let's see if this one ever opened up. What'd you yeah. say the water temp was? 96. Well, it's not hot enough. This is supposed to be 195, right? right? We'll let this, we've had this lid off for quite a while. We're gonna go ahead and see if this one is any good and that's how you test the thermostat. Let's add what Michael just said. He said it didn't open that far. The service manual also gives you a specification of how far it should open. How easy is that to measure? Not that thing's smoking hot. Now watch what's gonna happen here, okay? This is going to close back up fairly quick. Just in a matter of probably 30 seconds or so, if I especially don't stand over this, this will suck itself back up. And so you get, I want you to know you need to be really careful with that. If it were me, I'd have my veneer caliper ready to go so I could go right off this edge, have it locked down. If it says it needs to open up, you know, uh, five millimeters, have it ready to go, test it, and so on. Do you want to get your pinch fingers in there as you, uh, as that thing's closing? No. Even if you got rubber gloves or anything else.